Hello, my name is Lawrence Murray. I'm the Dean of Admissions here at Fordham University's Cabelli School of Business. I'd like to spend a few minutes helping you better understand some of the major components of the admissions application. We'll touch on the quantitative variables like your test scores and grades, as well as the more qualitative content like your essays and recommendation letters, as well as the admissions interview. Your resume is your story. It gives us a sense of your journey and should include your educational background, professional experiences, and your interests beyond work. Think of your resume as a compass to help guide the admissions committee to understanding who you are. To make sure we don't get lost, you should keep the format simple and use clear details that are easy to read. And as difficult as it might seem for the vast majority of applicants, this also means sticking to a one-page resume. You do not need to include a bullet point for everything you've done. Instead, include the most important and relevant details that let us know what you've accomplished. There is no need to stand out using unique fonts, formats, or photos on your resume. In this case, less, and most important and relevant, is more. Standardized tests like the GMAT, the GRE, or the Executive Assessment play an important role in the holistic evaluation of candidates. At the Gabelli School, standardized tests are optional for all MBA and Specialized Master's programs, with the exception of the MS in Quantitative Finance. To be clear, official GMAT and GRE test scores are required for the MS in Quantitative Finance. Although standardized tests are optional, you should think carefully before you make the decision to not submit a test score. If you choose not to submit a standardized test score, we encourage you to think about submitting other supporting evidence to showcase your competencies and to bolster the strength of your application. This could include industry certifications, such as the CFA, the CPA, the PMP, or the CBAP. You might also think about non-degree coursework, such as online certificates, short courses, micromasters, nano degrees, or even other standardized exams like the LSAT or the MCAT. While each academic program is unique and has distinct requirements, submitting supporting evidence of your knowledge and experience in that particular area will assist the admissions committee in evaluating your fit and your academic readiness. If you choose to submit an official test score as part of your application, you will need to add your test score information under standardized tests in the academic history section of the application. And remember, if English is not your first language, you may be required to submit a language competency test like the TOEFL or the IELTS. We also accept scores from the Duolingo English test and the Pearson test for English. Please visit our website for more specific details about reporting all test scores. The letter of recommendation allows us to get to know you a little bit better through the lens of someone that knows you well and has worked closely with you. The best recommendation gives specific examples, describes your impact and contribution, and highlights how you think and approach projects and work in general. We realize that you may not be able to share with your employer that you're applying to business school. And if you find yourself in this situation, it's okay to ask someone else for a recommendation. This can include a previous manager, a client, a vendor, or someone outside of your organization who knows you well and can speak with specificity about your strengths. If you're applying to one of our specialized master's programs, you may submit an academic recommendation from a current or former professor. If you're applying to any of our MBA programs, professional recommendations from current and or previous employers are more appropriate. When choosing your recommender, it can be easy to think that you need someone with a big title. For the admissions process, we value the quality and the substance of the recommendation over the title or position of the person writing the recommendation. As a reminder, only one recommendation is required, but you're free to submit up to two. The essays serve as an opportunity for you to share your professional experience, goals, and ultimately where you see yourself. It's an opportunity to sell yourself in your own words. When responding to the essay prompts, be authentic. Try to avoid what you think the admissions committee wants to see and hear and steer towards what is sincerely you. Be sure to answer the question. Be clear and concise. You may only have limited space to provide your answers. Make sure that you're addressing the prompt correctly. Working in reverse, a reader should be able to discern the prompt if you haven't seen it. When planning your essay, tie in other pieces of your application to create a comprehensive picture of who you are, what you have accomplished, and what you hope to contribute to the Cabelli School. Be mindful of your professional and personal interests and how they align with the program to which you are applying, as well as your target industry, sector, or functional role. And finally, proofread your essay before clicking Submit. We provide all of the essay requirements and instructions for each program on our website. 
For all programs, we also offer a no word limit optional essay, and we encourage you to complete this essay to share information that is not presented elsewhere in your application. For example, you can use this essay to explain employment gaps, that semester as an undergrad where your grades were not as strong as you'd like, or your extra quantitative or analytical abilities. The admissions interview is a critical component of the application process. Similar to the admissions essay, the interview is yet another opportunity to tell your story in your own words. Our admissions interviews aren't intended to be overly rigid or formal. We want to get a better sense of you as a whole person and give you the opportunity to display the kinds of qualities, enthusiasm, sense of humor, maturity, drive, professionalism that help fill in the blanks for the admissions committee. We may ask you specific questions regarding your job responsibilities or broad questions about your history, personality, and your goals. You may want to find a way to talk about your hobbies, a recent cross-country trip, or even the worst job you've ever had. And while we want this to be conversational, it doesn't mean that it won't feel like a job interview. If you are invited to interview, we strongly encourage you to watch our other video, Preparing Your Admissions Interview. We are looking for strong candidates from diverse backgrounds who have studied different things, worked in different industries, and have come from all over the world, but who are also interested in being a leader, are curious, and want to be a strong contributor to the Cabelli community. We want to understand who you are, what you bring to the school, and what your potential will be after you graduate. Thank you so much for investing the time to learn more about Cabelli's graduate admissions application. I wish you all the best of luck on your journey. If you have any questions about the admissions application to the Cabelli School of Business, please contact our office.